before we get started in today's video, we would like to invite you guys out to the Wisconsin Muskie Expo, located in Wausau, Wisconsin. Yep, yep. that'll be this coming weekend. Um, gonna be fun. Gonna be have, gonna have lures, talk, muskies, whatever. Well, Robbie will be there. I'll be there. Lee will be there. It'll be a good Maybe time. Maybe Heidi. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> It'll be an official meetup, yep. and we're looking forward to getting up and seeing you guys in the North yep. Woods. Thank you very much for watching our muskie public service announcement on the show schedule. Yep. Now back to the video. What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pike Fishing for Giant Pike. And uh, we literally just set up our first flag and uh, it's spinning right now. It is literally spinning. Today I'm fishing with Mr. Michael Hansen. He's back from the Northwoods and brought some Northwoods weather. Big blizzard today. We Last night we got four to five inches, um, which made our mile walk today not very fun. But Michael, let's see um, how you catch a pike on a tip-up. <laughs> it's definitely a walleye. Oh no, it's not a walleye. Not a walleye, right? Maybe. No. Well, it could be a big walleye. Oh, that's a little bit better than... Okay. Oh, what do we... Michael, are you going to break our biggest uh, pike for the year? It's 32 inches. So. <laughs> I I would love just to see a nice pike. I don't see gr big pike anymore. It's it's kind of sad. They're around where I live, just very few and far between. And she's ours. All right. There we go. First gator of the day. Man, cool. I thought it was a lot bigger. Like you said, I don't catch big gators anymore where I'm living, so. All right, let's take a quick peek at her one more time. Again, nice, healthy Mendota pike. My, uh, yeah, my biggest one of the year. But hopefully we can beat that uh, again. Yeah, that's a nice, healthy one. Interesting marks right there, those scars. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, my. Oh. All right, guys, that did not take long. Good start to the day. Biggest pike of the year so far. So, hey, maybe we'll just keep getting bigger today. We got an auto. Deep water. It looks tight, the bobber's tight, so, all right. Guys, we usually, you know, would be much more excited, but let's just say this snow and how tired Michael and I are right now is pretty unbelievable. But I got the camera here, I'm gonna run. It's been a while since we got a bite, so hopefully something good happens. Oh boy. Fish on, fish on. All right, feeling like a walleye. I don't know what you are, but you're not very big. This was a, a deeper, okay, not a bad pike actually. He's just not fighting, oh gosh. Woo, I got him. Woo, <laughs> that was awesome. I am in a bad spot of the gills. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. It's a nice fish. He didn't really fight though. No? No. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Just kind of came up. Perfect. All right, second pike of the day. We got a chunky, chunky, nice, nice pike here on the auto. This was uh, in deeper water. We're sitting 22 feet of water. And uh, the last one was in 12 feet of water. It's a little shallower, but. Hey, that, that works. It's been a little bit since we got one, so we'll get her back. 
All right, bye-bye. Yeah, she got me pretty good. That was uh, not exactly how you want to grab them, but hey, we got it out of the hole. All right, guys, just got back from the minnow tank. And let's just say Michael and I, we messed up today. We do not have enough large, <laughs> extra large shiners. So we got a pike minnow from, from the Northwoods here. So it's basically just a little sucker. So I'm gonna rig up this guy. Well, with this guy out there, I could definitely, definitely see us catching a, a walleye, whatever. This is our deep, uh, one of our deep rods. We're fishing a really cool spot right here is basically a big, Big sand, kind of rocky flat right to our right. And then it kind of extends out and the break is super tight, really close to deep water here. So this particular line is in 22 feet of water. So got him a couple feet off the bottom. Got that trigger set just like that. Man, it feels great to be on the big lake today. It was a brutal walk. You guys probably don't understand how tired Michael and I really are. That's honestly probably the biggest pike I caught this year. It's crazy. It's just such a weird year, but guys, you know, this is a good hole when there's blood around it. I mean, something good <laughs> generally happened. Got a pike aboard, little bloodshed, but that's all right. That's all part of pike fishing. Any, any fish with teeth, that'll happen. It's all good. It's all good. That's why we do it. We fish for fish that can hurt you back. So that's all right. Got that line all rigged up. Now time for a giant. Let's go. Oh, also Michael's making broth right now. So. Things are happening right now. Should be another feeding window coming up shortly. Well guys, the brats are done. Giant Pike Quest video wouldn't be the same without uh, some brats made by Mr. Michael Hansen himself. Now we just need a big pike. Need a big pike, badly. The wind just switched here. It's a lot colder than what it was. Today we walked into the wind on the way out here and now we're gonna have to walk back into the wind going back home. But at the moment we're gonna... This is our only highlight today. This is pretty much, you know, those pike that we caught today, they were really nice pike in most places, but this particular body of water, that's a small pike. So that's what's happening. We got our no-name brats, our no-name mustard, and uh, we're gonna wait hopefully for another feeding window. Big one, big one, guys. Big one. <gasps> no. Why? Why? It's not that big. Oh, no, dude. That's, is it? that's double the size of the one that I had earlier. Well, guys, um, that was frightening. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Come on. Okay, he's not as big as I thought. Well, not. Hey, he's pretty cool, though. Yeah, wow, we got pretty. Oh, my gosh. Eat it. Oh, dude, he's quivering. Look eat it. Quiver. Eat it. Eat it. He's going to smash it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on, come on, get on that, get on that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is some of the coolest things. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. No, no, nope, he didn't. He didn't grab it, he missed it. It looks like he shook it out. He spit it out so quick. How he, he's turning around, guys. Oh, this. He's trying to swim back in us. Guys, this is epic as it gets. That's a nice fish, mid thirties. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You just got almost killed, but. It looks like he picked it up and shook it out. Yeah. The way he came up. Oh know? my gosh, guys, that was so cool. Is he still back there? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's still back there. He's still back there. He's moving fast. Oh, he's coming back in. This is, oh my gosh, guys, this, he wants it. He's not going to mess around this time. Michael, it's your turn. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's going at it. He, he, this shiner is not scared. He's running back at the, at the pike. This is so cool. He's right down. I, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got to keep my mouth shut. Oh, what? Should I jig it? Oh my, that's a nice fish. Such a pretty fish. Oh my gosh. He's look at his fins. 
<sighs> okay, well, that's promising. It's been a long time since we got a bite or any action. That's the first pike we marked on the camera or seen on the camera. And it was a 99% commit level and it just did not happen. But you guys got to all see that. So, you know what? Would have loved to catch it, but at least we got that captured. But gosh, that thing's got to eat sometime today. Hopefully it'll come back. Robbie, we're gonna die if this snow doesn't stop. Yeah. It's like walking. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, we just got outside the shack after our little incident with the pike. And um, this is the whiteout conditions. We get to walk straight into this wind. Hopefully this little snowstorm flipping stops before we have to pack up because, oh my goodness. We did not really think this one through. This was a long walk in powdery snow. This is not ideal fishing conditions. Guys, when you check your auto and it's like this, that's kind of an issue when you can't see a reel. So, just checking lines right now, getting thing, getting everything uncovered with snow and uh, hopefully catching a fish here soon, but dang. This is not a good weather system to be in right now. Same one. Gotta be the same. She's back. She's back. Come on. No scraping. No scraping. Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty pike, guys. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna eat it. Should I check it? Oh yeah, oh, eat it, eat it, baby. Oh my gosh, guys, eat it. Eat it. Gosh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He does. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, it doesn't have it. It's off? It's off. How did it do that? No, 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 no! He spit it out. Oh, it's still there, he's still there, he's still there, yep. He's still there in the weeds. Oh, that sucks. But, he's still sulking on the bottom, kind of. He looks pretty angry right now that he didn't get his meal. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a third chance, but... Stranger things have happened. Guys, desperate, desperate times comes to desperate measures. Um, so our pike friend, he is not moving right now. It's 435, our shack is getting blown in, the wind's getting heavier, our walk is gonna be terrible. I know I keep talking about it, but we're trying to get our pike friend up from the weeds. So Michael's gonna drill some holes, be really loud so we can, this, get, this pike is sitting right underneath us and we just want to get this thing moving so basically we just want to see how this pike reacts to uh, getting a hole drilled right on top of it so uh, michael's gonna drill right now <laughs> yep the pike did nothing michael Really? The pike did absolutely nothing. Yep, they are not scared to be drilled on. There you go, folks. I think that's probably gonna wrap it up for us. I don't think this pike is gonna bite tonight. Well, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, Michael, what's our what's our ride back gonna be like? Our our walk back, I should say, not ride back. I've been I've been so frightened of this journey back since we got out here. Why yeah. Why are you standing there? What's the reason for? <laughs> It got really windy and it's snowing again. It's gonna blow in our face. This yeah, is gonna be a walk from, can I say hell? You can say hell, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a walk from hell. It's gonna suck, it's absolutely gonna suck. Uh, we couldn't land that fish. You think if we went through all this misery to get out here, we would get that fish, but that didn't happen. But we got some cool underwater fo footage, hopefully. Hopefully it's on there, but we'll see, obviously. But um, yeah, was an interesting day. Got a couple nice pikes. Small for this body water, but nice pike anywhere else. Um, wish we got that one on the camera, but hey, that's what happens. Got another day tomorrow, hopefully chasing some some big pike. Hopefully a little better results. But guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video, and we'll see you on the next one.